everybody we are going to start a new skill today and that skill is going to be multiplying fractions by fractions uh, we just finished multiplying fractions by whole numbers and when we started that skill we started by drawing a picture or a model to uh, do that so we're going to do that first here as well we're going to draw a picture or a model to go ahead and show multiplying these two fractions so we have three-fifths times one-third uh, to do this, I need to start by drawing a box. And it needs to be fairly large because we're going to draw inside that box. So right now I'm using the line tool on Pear Deck. It'll make my line nice and straight. You can use that if you want, or if you want to draw freehand, you can as well. Um, so I'm going to draw one box here. Again, this is representing one whole thing. Okay. And when we know fractions... When we look at them, they are only part of a whole thing, right? They're only a piece of this. We're actually going to be drawing both of these fractions inside this box to show our multiplication, okay? So we're going to start by looking at our first fraction and the denominator that goes with it. If our denominator is 5, that means we're going to break this box up to start in 5 sections, so to do that, we need to draw four lines and we're gonna make our lines vertical. So that means up and down. So I'm using the line tool again to make vertical or up and down lines to break this box up, okay? So I need four of those vertical lines. There's one, there's two, three, and finally four. If you count them up, we have five spaces now, okay? And then the next thing we're going to be doing is looking at our numerator up here to see how many of them we're going to shade in. And this is the part that's really important because you have to shade it in the way I'm telling you to. Otherwise, it's going to be hard for you to see the answer. So we need to shade three of these five pieces, uh, and we're going to do that on a diagonal. But all of our shading for, these, for this three-fifths is going to start on the bottom left and move towards the top right, just like I did here with each of these uh, lines to shade in. I started towards the bottom left and moved towards the top right. Okay, and then I'm going to do that for three out of five of them, right? We have the fraction three-fifths, so that's two-fifths, and let's get the last fifth that we need for this question. All right, so now we're looking at this first fraction, right? Three-fifths uh, three is being shown here. We have five sections. Three of those five sections are colored in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move over to our second fraction. And we're going to look at the denominator of that second fraction. And we're going to make uh, sections of three, or I'm sorry, three sections in here, right? Because our denominator is three. But we're going to do it out of this whole box again. We're not going to worry about the, the three-fifths we just made. We're looking at the whole box, and we're going to break it into three pieces or three sections. We're going to do this horizontally or from left to right. So I'm going to use my line tool again, and I'm going to make horizontal or left and right lines. I need two horizontal lines to make three spaces, one Two. Again, I'm not worried about the lines I already drew. I'm pretending they're not there. Okay, so when I'm looking at this and I'm looking at it from uh, horizontal, the lines I drew in red from left to right, I'm looking at this being one section starting here and ending over here. Section two starting over here and ending over here. And the third section or third piece starting there and ending there. All the way from the left to the right. I'm not worried about the blue lines breaking it up at all, okay? So I made thirds going horizontally or left and right because my denominator was three. Just like before, we're going to color in one out of these three sections. And again, just like before, it's really important that you color them in or shade them in the way that I'm asking you to. Please do not color in the whole box. You will not be able to see your answer. So I'm going to shade in one out of those three boxes because our numerator in the second fraction is one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in yellow. And I'm going to do it this time from the top left towards the bottom right. So when I shade this in, going from the top left to the bottom right, and I need to shade in this one whole section that I created of thirds. 
And now we're looking at our answer, okay? We're gonna count up all of the smaller boxes. So now we're looking at the red that cuts this box. We're also looking at the blue that cut this, cuts this box. And we're counting up all of the pieces that there are. So I'm just gonna use a, a little dot to mark each one as we count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 smaller boxes. That is our denominator for our answer. Now to find our numerator, and this is why it's really important that you shade the boxes the way I'm asking you to is, we're looking for boxes that have an X inside of them. That X will be made up of a green and a yellow. So really we're looking at the boxes that have been shaded by both the green and the yellow, right? When we did the one third, when we did the three fifths. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark those boxes. Let's do that in pink where I'll touch those boxes. Here's one of them right here that's showing an X or both shades. Here's two, here's three. That's it, there's only three boxes that are showing being shaded in both directions. That's our numerator. So we now have our answer and our answer is not in simplest form. If the question asks us to simplify, we can divide them both by three. So three divided by three, one, 15 divided by three is five. So if we were to simplify, our answer would be one fifth, okay? So again, we had to create our first fraction vertically or up and down. Then we created our second fraction horizontally or, or left and right. And then we used the two of those pictures together to go ahead and um, find our answer, okay? So again, where both were shaded was the numerator and the total number of smaller boxes was our denominator. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the notes that I have for you guys. So these notes here, I'm gonna post um, with your classwork today. Uh, you will be using Pear Deck also. I like that you'll have the option of using different colors. It's probably going to help you. These are all the instructions that I just did to go ahead and uh, do that problem. So I'm gonna do one more example problem for you. Uh, and then you're gonna be using Pear Deck today to go ahead and do about three or four uh, problems um, through Pear Deck so you, you can draw. Okay, so we have two thirds times three fifths. Again, we need to make sure we're starting with a large box, giving us plenty of room to draw both of these fractions inside. And I'm going to start with the first fraction and I'm going to make that fraction again, up and down or vertically, right? So again, I'm gonna make that fraction vertically or up and down. So I'm making three sections. I need two pieces or two, uh, two lines, I'm sorry, to make three sections. Then we're gonna go ahead and look at our numerator. Our numerator is two. So I have to shade two out of these three sections in, right? So remember, we have to shade them in one particular way. We're gonna do the, the one that's vertical or up and down. We're gonna go ahead and start in the bottom left and come up towards the top right. There's one section shaded in. Now let's do the second one. Again, on a diagonal, starting down towards the left and moving up towards the right, okay? So now we're looking at our first fraction, two thirds is inside this box. Let's go ahead and now make the second fraction. And we're gonna do that horizontally, left to right. We're not worried about the blue and the purple markings. We're looking at the whole box, right? We can pretend that they're not there. We're gonna break this whole box up into five pieces horizontally or from left to right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Here's orange, so I need four lines create five sections, one, two, three, and four. 
before. So now I have five sections from left to right, and I'll label them like I did in the last question if you'd like. So here's section one starts there and ends over there. Section two starts here and ends here. Section three, four, oh, that's a three, four, four, and five, and five. So there's our five sections or our fifths for the whole box, okay? I'm just going to get rid of these numbers just so we have some space. Okay, so they're, again, they're moving from left to right. So now we're going to have to shade in three out of those five sections. Again, those sections go all the way from one side of the box to the other from left to right. I need to shade in three. Remember, this time we're starting at the top left when we shade, and we're coming down towards the bottom right as we shade. Again, all the way across is the way we have to shade this. There's one. Here's two. And finally, we have a third one we had to shade in. Just like our last question, we're going to count up all of the smaller boxes we created. That's our denominator. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So just like last time, our denominator is 15. And just like the last time, we're gonna look for uh, X's inside of those small boxes. So places that have been shaded both with the green and the purple in this question will be making X's inside those boxes. So let's see how many there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. There are six. So our numerator for our answer is six. Again, we're getting an answer. This answer is not in simplest form. Actually, just like the last question, we could divide them both by three. Two and 15 divided by three is five. So we're getting two fifths as our simplified answer. So remember, it is really, really important when you go to shade in that you are not coloring in the whole box. Okay, you must shade them in in the way that I've asked you to so that you can see these X's and this answer at the very end of it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave, comment, uh, leave a comment on the classroom. Um, so you're going to be using Pear Deck today to do this.